Seconds by Crescent Valley hosting Boris, and this one goes down to the wire. 13 seconds left for Center Valley's Jason Hogan plows in for the game-winning score, and they beat their rivals 24 to 17. Fred Rogan High School Sports Show is brought to you by the United States Army. Be all you can be. Schoolsports.com. For this week's program, I'm Fred Rogan. Each week we have stories on kids, coaches, and teams throughout the West and the rest of the country. On today's show, we're going to check in with Matt Leiner, a quarterback from Modern Day in Santa Ana. He is at the helm of one of the best teams in the country. Plus, we'll take a look at a high school in Florida that's not just sending football players to college, it's sending them to the pros. But first, well, let's get ready to hear some helmets popping from right here at home with this week's football highlights. <laughs> It's a full moon over Glendale. It's Pasadena and Crescenta Valley, and you know what a full moon means. Sure, it's time to play football. These two guys are opening the league season. We're about 35 miles away from the ocean right here. What do you think the name of the league is? Of course, the Pacific League. In the first quarter, Crescenta Valley in the blue, and they're on the move. That's Hudson Gossard. The bullet to Jason Hogan, and Hogan shakes a couple tackles in the 10, gets his balance, and scores. This makes it 14-0 Crescenta Valley. On to the second quarter, more of Gossard and Hogan connecting for long range. This is Hogan getting past a few guys in white shirts, and he's going to zip down the sideline. A big game down to the 17-yard line, and it puts the guys in blue in a position to score. This time, it's Gossard rolling out and finding Jason Burkhart in the back of the end zone. 20 to nothing CV, and that means 20 push-ups for their male cheerleaders. Still before the half. Wild play here. Gossard rolls. Doesn't see a receiver open. Finally, it's underhand to Dan Moody. 28-0 CV at the break. On to the third quarter. Pasadena tries to make a game of it. The home run ball here falls a little bit short. Hogan picks it off. He's going to be dragged down after a modest game, and that puts CV in a position to score again. We change quarters, and Gossard changes directions. This time to Ryan Radabaugh, and Radabaugh does the rest. This one's going to cover 69 yards on the amazing catch and run. This makes it 35-0 for Santa Valley. And you know what? That's your final score. So I'm just glad that we all played as a team. We all came out here. We did a good job in practice. Our scout teams did a great job in getting us prepared for this game. And that's how we take it step by step, and we're going to go to hopefully make it to the finals. We've got Dancing Lions in Riverside, Valley View, and Arlington. Arlington in the